Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Bulls87, but you can call me Sam, and today is episode 11. And I actually have a clip I want to go ahead and head into where I did some United Challenges. So, let me explain how United Challenges work. Well, they are annoying. <laughs> That's one thing. But, um, yeah, so basically... Somebody writes you down a challenge and you write down a challenge for them and you put it in one dispenser So you still have a chance of getting your own challenge So that's a thing and anyways, I want to go ahead and head into that clip Every mm. new interaction is something completely different and that's why I love actually playing. Do I need you that? You have your head with you, right? Uh, Do you in, have your head with you, right? In my ender chest, I have my Christmas head well, that should work. Come with me. Just place your head right here. And now, that's, that was the first step of initiation. Now, what I want... Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Oh no, the thing. This is a disaster. What thing? I don't have the thing. Why do you, you got an arrow in thing. your head? Yeah, I know. Uh, You're disappearing when I zoom in on you. I don't have the thing. I can't believe I don't have the thing. Okay. We're gonna have to skip the stage. <laughs> but it's okay. You're what? initiated. Woohoo! You're initiated. Yay. This is pretty awkward because usually there are like th five to six people. Four at minimum. Yeah. Yeah, this is really awkward. So what you do... I'm such a ripoff. You just get one piece of paper. And then you rename it yes. with a challenge and you put it in the dispenser. Keep in mind, you can get your own challenge. Oh, Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's the twist. Yeah, the godly dropper. Mm. It chooses what challenge you get, yours or not yours. Oh, that's no interesting. As well. That is interesting. Can we, like, set specific times that the challenge has to be, um, say, uh, activated? Uh, all challenges are either they have a one-week period or they have a one-week due date. Yeah. You have to reach a certain goal within one week or you have to do this a specific thing for one week. So put your challenge in. Do not peek. All right. Okay. You want to go first or should I? I'll go first. <laughs> I'm so afraid I'm going to get mine. Yep, I did. You got look, yours? Look at What's it. What's yours? <laughs> this one was going to be such a pain for me because I can only use stone tools because of another challenge. What was, what was yours? Mine. What was yours? Compliments anyone who gets on. That's not too bad. Do I have to do both of these or just the one? No, that's my challenge. If you if you want, we can switch, but... <laughs> I'd like to switch, but uh, it has chosen my fate. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fate. So when, so, when does this start exactly? Uh, right about now. So how am I going to get back? You won't. Um, well, I've got plenty of ender pearls on me. Why? Uh, just because I keep them from the enderman farm. Basically, what you do is you put your challenge here, and every time you forget what your challenge is, you come here, and then you, you look at your challenge. Okay. That is basically United Challenges. Again, 
I'm not a ripoff, I swear. I swear, I'm not a ripoff. Well, it's a good thing I had a bunch of Ender Pearls stocked. Also, you can jump. Okay. Well, you can't really. <laughs> that will. That is gonna be so slow for you, but I'm sure you'll be alright. I'm a master with Ender Pearls, man. The only problem is, is it damages you. You have to heal every 10 seconds or so. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do this for a week. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> for a week straight. And if you get caught not doing your challenge yeah. on purpose, then you get two extra challenges the next week. Oh no. One challenge by default, and one challenge by public vote, which is me. <laughs> oh no. What have I gotten myself so into? So I get to challenge you twice, basically. Good luck, dude, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and as you saw, I got my own challenge. And I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I ran out, and what he said I could do is I can jump and do that little. Little bit of movement if I run out. So. That's not too bad. It's just in case I run out, though. And he said I can move my boats, too. But I, he's, when he said I could jump, I said, can I deploy my wings? And he said, no. And that was unfortunate. But, um, yeah, that happened. <laughs> but now that that's over, you know, I've started realizing I do some of the stranger things in Minecraft. Uh, I wear a turtle shell. I wear golden boots. That might not be so strange since the, um, 1.16 update, but also I carry a trident that I throw around instead of a bow. And it's only effective, like, in the water during rain. But, um, in any case... Uh, I'll, I'll spare you my m m moving, trying to move, but in any case, um, there has come up a thing, right? So, earlier, I was going to record, uh, these cats that I have dotted around, there's like four of them, and so this one, this one, right, he was hidden down there, because if I go down here... I don't especially want to with this challenge, but there's a hollow spot. And if I do my little teleporty over here and do a weird jumpy thing up there, that's my old staircase. So, I mean, if some of you people remember that, that's cool. Uh, I hate this right here. I found if I press W, space, and control at the same time, it's better because I can go I can jump farther and faster but anyways yeah so there was this cat here this keeper of the portal overworld so what I had an idea about was like putting cats everywhere like name renamed as guard posts like this one's keeper of the portal in the overworld and if I pop on where my things go if I hop on into the nether then you'll see there is the keeper of the portal in the nether yeah so I've got this one and then down by my villager place I've got the keeper of the villagers and yes I have noticed these two strip logs I don't know how long they've been there but I think I accidentally did it with my axe going through there one time but uh, let me get down to my villager place really quick In any case, uh, here is Keeper of the Villagers. They all look the same. Because, like, I had another cat that looked like this. His name was Mr. Snuggle Whiskers 87. I thought that was a pretty cool name. But along with the rest of the cats, he has been hidden and he didn't have a guard post. Like, and I don't really remember where I stuck him last. I think it was on the throne. But I can't really find him. And this one, he was wandering around over there and I tamed him. So. 
if I go over here, right? Over to the throne. Oh, I do have something else over here to show too. Probably get killed by an Endermite here in a second. If you notice, I have the totem in my hand. Yeah, somebody was giving away a bunch of free totems, and that has helped out a lot. My death count is currently 250. But anyways, I put Mr. Snuggle Whiskers abode over here, and I've got the the key, which I don't really care showing on camera, but uh, because it will change. But right now, it's just a very secret door. And it pops on up, and it says, "Do you think I'm that dumb?" Of course not but in any case put this back in here it's a pretty cool door yeah but last time he was here i was sitting here right and i logged off and he was sitting like right here next to me and where i found the other cats was like a couple of blocks down from where they actually were and i went down and dug a bit like i went down here Dug around a bit. I want to watch that minecart. Don't want to. Let me see. Like, I went down here and I dug around a bit and I didn't see anything at all. Like, I, I did a couple of this right here. Like, I went around and found some of that. So, I mean, unless they tried to move him and they found lava. Which that would be like the worst thing ever. See what I mean? See what I mean? There's an endermite right there. I'm gonna try to try to shoot it. Okay, well that was pretty easy. Oh. Many dangers hath this room. Ah, the other one's running. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's just letting me letting me kill him but in any case yeah i would like some help on uh, like like if i if i had a lost and found poster i would definitely like draw it and put it up on the screen if any of you audience know which like i get a, a big majority of this audience is on the server so um yeah, you know where to reach me. If you're not on this server, then you know where to reach me too, right down in the comments. So, but I doubt anyone will, just because nobody ever does. But, in any case, I guess we ought to move on to something else. Welcome to my TED Talk. Today we're going to learn about the Godly Dropper. What is this game? You basically challenge each other. By the way, you can get your own challenge, be careful. You challenge each other. Uh, challenges. Yeah, that's it basically. Seriously, okay, cool. <laughs> well, there's no catch to it. You just can get your own challenge. That's, that's literally the thing. And you get a random one, like... Yeah, you get a random one. Okay. So do we go ahead and rename the piece of paper? Just grab a piece of paper from here, and then mm -hmm. rename it to whatever challenge uh, you want to do. You'll be doing mm -hmm. that challenge for one week, or if it's a goal challenge, then you have to finish it in one week. Oh, okay, okay. So focused. Here's my paper. Okay, I can't fit it all on the paper. I just have to so sort out some details So basically, you got your papers. You click the dropper, and then you, uh, without looking at the other challenges. Okay. You oh. <laughs> oh. We roll some oh, dice yeah, to see cool. who goes first. Come with me. We gotta do something. Yes. We gotta do something, cool. Come with me. Do I get to burn that one? So we, terrible. we both completed our challenges, right? We yeah. get our challenges from here. Yeah, we're terrible. We get the challenges and then we burn them with the thing. Good. <laughs> Goodbye. 
can we tell each other what challenge we got? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do that after we got the challenges. Yeah. Stand still, stand still. Okay, so who goes first? The one third, you go first. Nah, he's jumping. He he wants to go, okay. you see, he wants to he, he's excited. He So uh, what's happening? Uh, what's happening right now? Um, We're gonna pick the challenge. He got one. Okay. What did you get? What did he get? Uh, you can't use rockets. Well, you don't have an Elytra, so that's. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Luck. Uh, Whoever luck. did that was hoping I okay, would get yeah, it. I'll know. go next. I'll go next. What was it? I I I already did this, but yeah. I, I can't use it? an Elytra for one week. You can't use Me, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just... Or who goes next? Uh, one third and then we'll end it with goals. I know oh, what no. I'm gonna get then. Inventory must be filled oh. with junk. Oh yeah, that was... <laughs> well... I, I couldn't fit it well, on the paper. what the junk? It's like... I couldn't fit it on the paper, but it's supposed to be at all times. I couldn't fit that all in there. What did... What did... What did Valhara get? Uh, he got, uh, can't use, uh, rockets. Alright, so oh. I guess I'm last. So he doesn't have an elytra. No, I can use rockets. Get that away from me. Suicide- <laughs> Hold up! Suicide when <laughs> someone joins. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on, how- uh, You just joined, hold on. Give perfect. Me That's a perfect thing. <laughs> People are just on, I'm, and I'm rushing to the. <laughs> yes. Guys, I'm guys, rushing to suicide. Put your challenges <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> what do I gotta do twice now? Because. Mm -hmm. uh, oh three no. times actually. Challenges start from now. I don't have an electra. Right, so, here we go. I don't know how well, exactly. I do have an election. You have the suicide dog. <laughs> well, no, I'm yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm oh, not gonna try to go. I'm not gonna try to go on again because it's not working. Okay. And uh, yeah. if I try anymore then Colt needs to kill himself all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Easy suicide. Every try, every. All right, there we go. I really need to get a bow for that. Join to me to kill cools. <laughs> kill cools. Anyways, guys, it was nice seeing you. I'm gone. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go play some other games. I joined just for the challenges. Leave, live with your challenges, I guess. Did you just grab my yeah. head? Give it back. Well, I mean, if I got the challenge, I wouldn't really even do it that much because I'm not really actively playing. I just, huh? I just joined, I just joined this call to talk to, to people. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm glad you explained like, ah, that on someone... camera. Now, I, now I, people know why why you joined. Yeah, I know. Get back here. Uh, is that it? <laughs> I, I guess so. Yes. Alright, goodbye. More challenges. I hate them. But, in any case, uh, there's no one on right now, so there's a high chance somebody will log on and make me have to uh, suicide. But, in any case, there's only one other thing that I want to go show before I end the episode. And that is apparently lag. Um, but, um, that is... A trident farm which is right off over here like this is the old one I think I showed on camera and um, this is all the way up to build height but I mean it's upside down half slabs so it'll probably uh, Y coordinates will probably say 255 would be my guess and what is this look I'm um, I'm um, what oh that's weird there I am Okay, yeah, so it says 255, but this is pretty much build height. Um, the only thing is, yeah, you can see there's fence gates down there. 
that is the the very measly start of what has to be many many fence gates and then many many water much water coming down from here then they'll get killed around like 198 i think the coordinates is but um yeah so that's got to be massive and even with the sheer size of this farm i was using uh somebody else's farm um to get started on the trident mini game me and him are kind of working on it together and uh i used it to get some tridents so we can um start that and so the way that's working out is he's doing the pvp area and i'm going to do the uh course yeah here's what was going to be the trident farm because it was in a river biome but in any case yeah so i'm going to be taking charge of the um course section he's taking he's pretty much taking uh charge of the whole pvp section and i kind of felt bad that i didn't do much except collect materials so i said i, I told him i'd take care of the uh course part but <clears throat> in any case um that's probably going to be all for this episode but in next ep well next video i say episode but uh next video um it's probably going to be something a bit special if i can manage to put it together before um before the due date which i most likely can um it's going to be a bit special so be on the lookout for that and um <clears throat> subscribe if you want to see that uh please like this video if you haven't and um i will see you in the next episode Thank you.